How you doing? So I want to talk about this Age of Ultron Vision fight. This is one of the hardest fight in MCOC. First, let me just give you the reason why. As you can see, based on his health, he has nearly 4.7 million health and over 330,000 attack. Also, he has six different nodes. Let's take a look at it. So in here, he has combo party, feet of energy, power snack, tranquility, and heavy hitter. So when it comes to feet of energy, when the attacker reaches one bar of power, the defender gains a bar power gain buff. Uh, granting 100% of bar of power over 4 seconds. It also has power snack. When the attacker triggers the buff, it immediately nullifies and the defender gains 50% of bar of power. It also has tranquility. Every 20 seconds, all buffs and debuffs are removed from both champions and both champions are reset to zero power. Heavy attacks are not interrupted. So here, this fight, is this fight soluble? Yes, it is. Um, you know, this is going to be a hard fight, even with a 6-star rank 5, 6, 200 Hercules. You know, if you have Heimdall in your team and you're running damage mastery as well as being a herald, this fight will definitely be a, a little bit more easier because when it comes to the vision SP1 and SP2, it's not going to do any damage because you're practically immune to power burn, which is uh, the, the source of his damage when it comes to... It's SP1 and SP2, which you will see on this fight. The reason why this is tough even for Hercules is because as you, in this fight, you'll see that Vision is going to hit his SP3. And without the Heimdall synergy, you're pretty much knocked out. And you don't want to start with low health because his attack is so high that even like if you get hit like once on the block, that will take like over 50% of your health which is not good so if you don't have a champion that can regen or you definitely if you start with low health that's gonna pretty much instant knock KO you with Hercules he does have immortality but as you can see every 20 seconds all of the, all buffs and debuffs are removed from both champions and both champions are at a reset to zero power so if maybe you get lucky you trigger uh, immortality when this thing just resets you have 20 seconds at most from his immortality but Hercules does rely on buffs and be able to, uh, you know, spam his SP2. Since your your power resets to zero every 20 seconds, he's just not going to be able to do that. He's not going to be able to do that. Also, the opponent gains so much power since Hercules gains buff that he's going to push Vision to SP3. Which, you know, there's just so many reasons why this fight is really tough. So... If, even though I would say that this definitely soluble fight, I do have strategic movement hack and um, buff cornucopia, which will help my damage. But as I mentioned, if I haven't mentioned already, I don't have the keep it going hack, which will inflict armor break depend uh sixty percent of the defender's attack. That will definitely help a lot in this fight because of uh, how much attack, how much yeah, how much attack vision has but I don't have it in this fight. So this would have been a really much easier solo if I had that um, armor break hack. So let's look at the other node that he has. So this is called combo party. For every 10 hits on their combo meter, the attacker gain a permanent cruelty buff, granting 500 critical damage rating. When struck, the attacker loses all cruelty buffs if their combo meter is lost and takes 40% of the defender's attack as direct damage for each cruelty buff removed this way. So even just one cruelty buff on you, that will take 40% of the defender's, um, what do you call that? Attack, which is what? Well, his attack is like 330,000. So that would yield about 132,000 damage from from one hit. And that's way more health than I have. Even if, as a 5-star, even as a 6-star, that's going to instant KO you. Unless you have Heimdall in your team. So that's going to be pretty much instant KO. I should, uh, in this one, this actually backfired on me. And you'll see on the gameplay. Having the combo party. So what happens. And you don't necessarily want to start with low health. Like I did here. Let's see. So.
So here I decided to trigger um, Heimdall's indestructible buff. So here I'm pretty much going to be indestructible for a while. As you can see here, when it comes to vision, he automatically triggers SP3. And unfortunately right there, when it comes to my SP2 that didn't crit, that could have probably done over 400,000 damage. Also here, when it comes to the timing, it was just terrible RNG. That the opponent just didn't have much health. I mean, the tranquility ran out. So I had I lost all my buffs and my indestructible as well. So here I have the combo party, which is which is great, but as you can see here I got hit. So normally that, that vision SP1 is not gonna do any damage, but since I had that combo party cruelty buff, it inflicted my damage. Now I triggered my uh what do you call that? Indestructible, and then it just instantly went away because of tranquility. Your buffs are removed. Since I have like uh, buff cornucopia, I got fortunate. As you can see there, it didn't do any damage because of the herald ability that SP1 uh, from Vision. If, if I was in a herald, that would have been instant KO for me. Here I am trying to gain, uh, what do you call that? Fury bust from strategic movement hack. So I hit him here. So he gains so much power, so I can't hit him again because he's going to trigger his SP3. He's going to go to his SP3. I was hoping he throws it here, but no. So I lost pretty much all my power, and then boom, KO. So, yeah. So when it comes to Hela, this could have been a 2 million health solo, even with a 5 star. You know, even with low health, with better RNG and better gameplay. When it comes to 4.7 million health, however... You know, especially with low health, uh, it's going to be a very, very tough fight. You know, if you have a 6-star rank 4, you know, SIG 200 Hela or even a 6-star rank 5, SIG 200 Hela, this fight is definitely going to be, a, 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 you know, easier for sure. You know, but as you know, I don't have a 6-star Hela. Oh, do I? Oh, I actually do, but she's unawakened. But since her signature ability is so... Uh, Helpful and I don't have my six star awaken. I rather use my five star as you can see it does come very handy if you've seen a lot of my videos so You know if I had you know, obviously I started with low health if I, if I had a higher health I probably couldn't have done more damage for vision and like I mentioned even with th that much health This could have been a two million health solo if I had better RNG and better, you know gameplay so who can this champ who can solo this fight? Actually, with Angela, this fight is a pretty easy solo, even for a five star. You know, this is a fairly easy for Angela because of strategic, strategic movement hack. Not only that, it's because, as you've seen from my all other videos, I already have over 400 wins with Angela with Odin Synergy. I mean, I already have over 400 wins. So if I had Angela, and with Odin Synergy, that would have been over 2,000% increased buff potency. And with Strategic Movement Hack, you gain to like 10 Fury buffs, maybe not even 10. You know, hit them once. That's kind of probably pretty much going to do over 5 million damage, which is more health than Age of Aldrin Vision does. As you know, Hela, she trick when you dex, or, or any really any champion, I think or some, not all champions because some champions are immune to buffs but you know so like hella or angela when they when they uh what do you call that dex they trigger a precision buff so when it comes to angela when she dex she gains a precision buff and since it's increased so much with odin synergy that's gonna be pretty much near guaranteed crit when you combine that with you know two thousand percent buff potency and 10 uh, not even really maybe not even 10 fury buffs that's gonna deal over 5 million damage and let's say you don't have like over 400 wins you know increasing your buff potency by 2,000 percent this definitely fight could be soluble for sure if you have a six star rank four or six star rank five Angela maybe even a five star Angela if you have like that buff cornucopia you know or like that keep it going hack which i don't have in this fight keep it going hack it depends on how much uh 
opponent has, how much attack opponent has, it deals 60% potency when it comes to armor break, which amplifies the damage even more. So, as I mentioned again, this fight could have been soloable with Hela with better skill gameplay, or if you have a higher rank Hela, same thing goes for Hercules. But really, this is where Angela shines. You know, where Angela outshines Hela with strategic movement hack, this is a fairly easy fight for Angela, especially having so much increased potency with Odin's synergy. Thank you.